Hey, well, hello to everyone out there. YouTube land. I hope that everybody's doing well. I'm doing fine. Thank you so much for asking. Quickly, let me encourage you not to be discouraged by other individuals telling you, oh, only use the K KJV. KJV is the only uh, uh, version of the Bible that you should use. Blah, blah, blah. No, don't do that. Obviously, there are, uh, I mean, many languages in the world, okay? First of all, there are many languages and many of us understand stand differently, we learn differently, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So because we have, by God's grace, these blessings of, of, a, of a variety of different translations, use them so that you can get clarity and understanding what is God really saying? Because sometimes the thus and the thous, you don't understand. And because you don't understand it or you feel intimidated by it in some way, you, you, you don't allow the spirit of God to enter in and interpret for you. You know what I'm saying? It just happens like that, unfortunately. But when, sometimes when, when you hear it in a plain in, you know, a language or plain speaking or a, a plain interpretation, it is so wonderful. Like the New Living Translation or the Amplified, which means what? It's turned up. Or my one of my other favorites is the message. Oh, the message like really just got, it's like a hammer. <laughs> it's like a hammer. You know what I mean? But they are so wonderful. So please, with all you're getting, get under, get wisdom and get understanding. Don't allow people to turn you away from things and whatnot. It's not a sin to read the Bible or study the Bible in another translation. Please do it because you will be so blessed. Because I feel like sometimes we're deprived from receiving our blessings. Real, you know, blessings. We might be saved, but we're still sick. We might be saved, but we're still poor as ever. We might be saved but we still sin on a daily basis like willful sinning when you don't really want to but you you sin like real sin not just slight sins but you know heavy sins or you got anger problem you wonder how come I'm still the way I am why isn't there any change and this is what the world sees because the world sees us they be like Psh, they, they ain't saved they still hanging out with boo boo and juju now or they still drinking MD 2020 and they still smoking this and this, but you, you know what I'm saying? They, they don't see any change. You know what I'm saying? So if you want real change, because a lot of us, we, we want change. We have gone, we call ourselves saved. We go into church every time the door open. We, we, we in every Bible study, we can, uh, we can, uh, attend. We in, and, and we trying to give a little, we, we don't have any money, but we trying to give money, sowing seeds here, there and everywhere because we trying to be blessed. We trying to get rid of something that's in our lives or we have unsaved, uh, loved ones that we're praying for, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. You know, there's just so many issues that we have as human beings, but because sometimes we don't get the, the, the literal translation of what God is really saying in our lives, we, we just can't get that deliverance. And deliverance is what's really needed because once we really get the word in our hearts, Huh. So many things will drop off because we will learn what how, what Mark you know what Jesus taught us the, the spirit the uh, ministry of deliverance and and what in in the book of Mark and and stuff like that you know how to cast demons out of us because most of us we got demons anger anger is a demon okay <laughs> that's a demon when we need that cast out of us and we need to learn how to cast demons out of us okay so that we can help others get free. Anyway, love you very much. Prayerfully, this will encourage someone, you know, to, you don't have to always buy everything either. There's so many apps on our different phones. There's the library. And then there are some other places where you can get free Bibles. So anyway, be encouraged. Love you very much. Be exhorted. Bye-bye for now.